Hi everyone, I'm Sonia Schofield and today I'm going to show you how to create a really natural daytime look. So this would be something that you could wear for work or if you had a job interview or you just need to generally look polished and the best that you can be. So um, emphasising features, covering any flaws or blemishes, um, just to give you confidence to go out of the door in the morning and yeah, I'm not going to go into contouring and highlighting and false lashes and glitter eyeshadow and everything. It's just your basic everyday look. So let's start with skincare. I've already prepped my skin today with the Bobbi Brown face base and I've used the Extra Repair um, Eye Cream by Bobbi Brown also. So just choose what's right for you if your skin's oily or dry on that particular day. As we're doing, doing a day look, I'm going to put on my Kiehl's SPF 50 um, to protect the skin because we're going to be outside if you're commuting and uh, at lunchtime you're outside, if you're sat by windows you can get um, the UVA lights coming through. So yeah, really important for anti-aging. Make sure every single day you've got some SPF on. So I'll pop a little bit of that on now. This is a really light sort of gel formula, so it's not going to feel too greasy. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on um, a CC cream. This is by Arbonne. Um, this has actually got an SPF 30 in it, so um, you don't necessarily need to put this SPF 50 on underneath actually but I just wanted to show the, the importance that you must wear an SPF so if you are going to wear a tinted moisturiser or a BB cream or a foundation that doesn't have SPF at least you know you've got it on with your um, product that you've put underneath but anyway this, is, this has got a really high SPF so it could be worn on its own. I'm a bit of a SPF fanatic though so I probably would wear um, rather wear a 50 anyway. Right so I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. It's ever so slightly um, darker than my skin tone at the moment, but I'm only going to put a small amount on so it doesn't really matter too much. When you're choosing a foundation or a tinted moisturiser, you're best to try and match the skin exactly or ever so slightly warmer, but yeah, don't go lighter because we're wanting to add a bit of um, warmth and colour to the skin rather than making us look lighter. Of course, if you did want to go lighter, that's completely up to you, but <laughs> I think it'll look better on me if I go slightly warmer. So that's just gonna be great for um, just a really natural day base. It's going to um, cover any flaws and just perfect that skin a bit for us. Okay, so then I'm going to um, conceal under the eyes. I'm going to use my NARS Cream Concealer in Custard. This is really good. Um, it's just a really light um, concealer um, for every day. If you were doing uh, like an evening look or, you know, if you've got loads of time to do your makeup, you could do corrector on the dark circles first but I think this is enough just for daytime now you can see how much more awake I look that side than I do that side <laughs> Okay, so I've concealed um, under both of my eyes. I'm going to um, take a concealer. I'm going to use my little stick concealer that I've got from um, Bobbi Brown. They don't do these anymore actually, but you can use their stick skin foundations and that's gonna do the same job just to cover up um, any, any blemishes you have like spots or um, sunspots or any, any redness anywhere that the CC cream hasn't quite covered. So just apply it to the spot and gently dab it in. Don't rub because you'll just rub the product straight off. Now 
Okay, so that's all my um, imperfections um, covered. So I just want to use um, a little bit of powder now, my Laura Mercier powder, let me find it. Okay, so I'm just going to put some Laura Mercier translucent powder just where I have put that concealer under the eye so it doesn't move into the creases. And that's my nice um, Eye Blender Fluffy Brush by Bobbi Brown. Then you're going to want to, um, I suppose it depends really if you've got dry or oily skin. If you've got an oily skin, um, you may not want to use powder, but I do have a bit of an oilier skin. Um, so I am going to set with powder. Uh, the powder's just gonna keep your makeup on all day for you. you know, if you're going to work, early in the morning most of us really don't want to be touching it up at work too much so the powder is just going to help keep your base in place you'll notice that i didn't take my um cc cream onto the eyes or the concealer onto the eyelids I'm going to use an eyeshadow base by P. Louise in shade 2 and I'm going to do that all the way from the lash line up to the brow bone. That's going to help your eyeshadow stay in place. Okay, so that's the eyeshadow base on both eyes. I'm just going to pop a little bit more of my translucent powder on. That's going to make sure that there is going to be no oil coming through to mess my eyeshadow up. Okay, so next step after we've done the powder, I'm going to use a bit of bronzer. This is the um, Hoola Light by Benefit and it's a really nice matte natural bronzer. It's not got any sparkle. I think it's uh, better to go more matte in the daytime because you're gonna be in natural light. It can look a bit unnatural. I think if we've got all sort of sparkly bronzers and highlighters all over the place. So I'm putting where the sun would naturally hit. So cheekbones, high up on the temples, you can put a bit on your nose and chin a bit on the jawline. If you found that your um, face is a bit darker than your neck, which is often the case, take a bit of bronzer down the neck just to make sure it's all matching. Okay, so it's just going to warm the skin up. And blusher, I'm going to use um, a powder blusher. If you've got a drier skin, you might be better off using a cream blusher. Um, but I'm going to go for a powder one today. Um, I'm going to go for this one, um, Pale Pink. And that's just going to give a nice brightness and lift to the skin. And I just think a blusher helps to kind of uh, lift the cheekbones a bit as well. And we're just creating more um, dimension to the face rather than us all just being all one flat colour. So if you do it when you smile, put it high up on the apples of the cheeks and brush out to the hairline. Okay, with eyeshadows, um, for day look, I would pick three colours and I've got um, this little um, palette I've made up from Bobbi Brown. You can choose your colours and, and fill your palette with whatever you like. So I'm going to do my lightest colour first, uh, which is the ivory. I'm going to put that all over from the lash line up to the brow bone. And when you've got all of that on, just take your eye blender brush and just give it a good swish. Make sure it's blended in nicely. That's going to be your, your base eyeshadow to build up the other colours on. And, and then you need a medium shade. In this case, I've got Taupe, which I'm going to take on the eyelid up to the crease. This is a really good um, medium color for people who've got blue eyes. It really helps um, that the blue eyes stand out. Okay, 
and do the other side. Now you could put a darker colour in the crease, but as this is a day look, and I like to try and not do too much because when it comes to night time, I find that it's going to look the same as my day look. So I'm happy just to do that on the lid like that. And um, this is my Studio 10 brush actually, and it's it's double ended. So I'm going to take the blend inside and just swish that into the crease just to make sure that we can't sort of see where the eyeshadow's starting and stopping. So it just looks like a real natural wash of colour, you know, that it looks part of your face. That's why we're using this sort of more matte nude colours so that it looks like it could just be part of your eye. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take a um, eyeliner brush with that same colour at the top and I'm just going to gently um, run a little bit of it through the lower lashes just to give a little bit of light definition without being too harsh. So it, it's meant to look really like it's like you're, um, you just naturally got, you know, a thicker lash line rather than we've put a heavy black liner through it, for example. So I'm going to take that same brush again and I'm going to um, spritz it with a little bit of my setting spray by Argonne. This is just to dampen the brush a little bit and then it's going to make um, a really good eyeliner when I use it with my rich brown dark eyeshadow. You can use this dry but just if you dampen it a little bit it makes it a little bit easier to work with, you don't get the fallout on your cheek. It just intensifies the colour a bit more. So I'm just brushing that along the top of the roots all the way across to the inner corner. I'm just going to lift it slightly at the corner there, just to give myself a bit of an eye lift. <laughs> Don't really need to put any more on the brush, it seems to be damp enough. I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush again and just give that a little sweep across the top, just so it's blended and doesn't look like too much of a harsh line. I think for the daytime, um, a dark brown or a dark grey can be enough to define the eyes. Okay, if you did want a bit more definition, you could of course go with an eyeliner, um, but I'm going to stick with brown rather than black. I think it's just a bit more flattering in daytime look, at uh, daytime light. Um, this uh, Maybelline eyeliner comes with a little brush actually, so I'm just going to go just tickling in amongst those roots and not taking it quite as high as I did the eyeshadow. It's just going to give that real definition to the eye without being too much. You see how it's just giving that little bit extra definition. Now I'm going to save my false lashes until my evening look. So for the daytime, I think we could just do a bit of eyelash curling and uh, one coat of mascara. So give your eyelashes a curl. Okay, so I'm going to put some mascara on now. This is my Studio 10 mascara. Okay now, so for eyebrows, I'm just going to give them a quick brush through with a mascara wand. I'm going to add a bit of definition with my Studio 10 eyebrow pencil. This is like a really um, useful colour if you've got blonde hair, um, brown hair, grey hair. It's like a cool greyish light brown colour.
Okay, so I just did really um, little light um, natural brush strokes through the eyebrow to define it a little bit more. After that, I'm going to go through with my brush just to take out any harsh lines to blend the product more into the eyebrow. I'm not going to put any mascara along the bottom for my daytime look actually. Um, I think, you know, it, it can rub off quite easily unless you're using a waterproof one and I could use a waterproof one but for now I think that that's just given me enough definition for the daytime and as I said before I like to build up for nighttime otherwise I feel like I've got the same look all of the time. So lipstick, I am going to line my lips with a nude lip liner. This is from Autograph from Marks and Spencers. So when I say a nude lip liner, whatever nude is your individual nude. I know everyone's got different colour lips. Okay, so I've lined all the way around and filled in. That's going to help your lipstick stay on a little bit better if you've got the liner underneath as well. Uh, lipstick, I'm going to use a Studio 10 one, um, and this is Tea Rose. You can actually use this on your lips and you can um, use it on your cheeks as well. But it's, um, it's very close to my natural lip colour, which is like a, a pinky brown colour. It's got a nice um, moisturising element to it as well, so that throughout the day you're just going to get that, um, as you're reapplying, it's going to be treating the lips as well. All of the, the Studio 10 makeup has skincare in it as well, so it actually improves the skin throughout the day, which is why I do use quite a lot of their products. Okay, so that is my um, basic day look. I would finish it off with some setting spray because that's going to help it stay on all day for you. This is my Arbonne Let It Set Spray. Ah, I feel nice and refreshed now. <laughs> um, that's going to really um, help uh, melt all of the different layers together. So um, your foundation or CC cream and your powder, your bronzer, your blusher. Um, it's just going to help I don't know, it just makes everything look better if you know what I mean. You've got all of these layers and I just feel like it melts it all together and the skin just looks really nice and glowy after you use it. Okay, so I hope you like this look. Uh, in my next video I'm going to show you how you can transform this look to your night look. So if you've been at work all day or whatever you've been doing in the daytime and you have to go out at night time and you need to all of a sudden uh, completely look really glamorous. I'm going to show you how you can do that uh, really quickly. Okay, well, I'm going to put in my description all of the products that I've used for this tutorial. Please like my video, please subscribe, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye! <laughs>